friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using the Heffy Doodle Yappy Happy Mail stamp set. I've stamped my images out on some Copic friendly cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink since I'll be coloring with my Copic markers today. I'm starting with the dog and for her I'm using C5, C7, and C9. I wanted to make a black dog since that's what my dog is. And so I'm starting with that C9 and laying in some shadows. Using some dark grays are going to give you the look of a black dog without, um, you know, losing any of the features. If you were to just color it completely black, you know, you wouldn't be able to see the eyes or the nose or any of the details. So using some dark grays is going to accomplish that, but there'll still be some depth and dimension to her and her features will still be recognizable. So I'm blending out the C9 with the C7, just kind of taking that color out a bit and making sure that I have a nice soft blend. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of the dog with the C5. As I mentioned, I'm coloring this dog to look like our Zadie. She's a flat-coated retriever that we rescued from our local shelter. And we've had her for a good long time. She's about 14 years old, so she's an old girl, but we love her to pieces. I wanted to color her collar red since Zadie has a red collar. So I used R29 and I also colored in a little heart on the envelope. And then for the folds of the envelope, I'm just going to outline those with the W1 to give it a little more dimension. And then for the actual mailbox, I'm going to use B95, B97, and B99. The B99 is going to be my darkest, so I'll use that to draw in my shadows. Um, so I added a little bit to each of the legs, and then the leg that's on the back of the right side, I just colored in completely with that B99 since there wouldn't be any light hitting that. It's going to cast in complete shadow. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow to each of the panels of the mailbox. I'm not being too particular about it. I just wanted to create, you know, a little bit of contrast there. Then I'm going to come in with that B97 and I'm going to fill in the remaining parts of the legs since those are underneath. And then I'm going to bring out that B99, just making sure to go back and forth over the edge of that, especially so that I get a nice smooth blend. I'm going to color in the door of the mailbox a little bit darker than the rest of it, just to give it a little bit of contrast. And then I will fill in all the rest of the mailbox with that B95. And again, making sure to go over the edge of that B97 really well so I get a nice gradual uh, shift of color. I wanted to use the other two envelopes to add some pops of color on the card, especially since I always send out my cards in colored envelopes. So for one of them I'm using RV21, RV23, and RV25, and I'm coloring with the darkest on the outside edge and blending towards the center. And then for the additional envelope, I'm going to use Y11, Y13, and Y15. And I'm coloring that in the exact same way with the darkest on the outside. The mid-tone is going to pull that color towards the center, and then I'll fill in with my lightest shade. I use the Y13 to color in the stamp on the pink envelope, and then I'll bring in YG63 for the stamp on the yellow envelope. And then I'm also going to use a Sakura black glaze pen to accentuate the eye of the dog and also add a little white patch on her chest since um, that's what Zadie has. And then I'll just trim these out with the matching dies. For the background, I've cut out a piece of Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock with the Avery L. Pinked die. I'm not sure if this die is still available, but I like the postage edge detail. I thought that that went really well with the theme of our card. So any kind of die with a postage edge um, would work. So now I'm taking the MFT Cloud Stencil and I'm going to use some Tumbled Glass Distress Ink to add some clouds to the top half of my panel. 
So I'm just going to keep turning that stencil as I go up since each edge has a little bit of a different look to it. Then I'm going to bring in the MFT Drifts and Hills stencil and add a nice grassy hill to the bottom half of my panel. So I'm just going to pick out one of these hills and then I'm going to use some bundled sage distress ink to blend down. And I want it to be darkest at the top and kind of fade off towards white at the bottom. So I'm just going to keep adding that color up to the top edge and not re-inking as I get down towards the bottom, just using what's left on the ink blending tool. I'll go ahead and pop that into my Misty so that I can stamp my sentiment. And I'm using Lawn Fawn's Deep Sea Ink and I'm stamping a card full of hugs. And I am going to ink that up twice to get a really good impression. Then I'm going to put my entire card base into my Misty because I want to add some detail around the outside edge. So I used all the envelope images that are in this stamp set and also all the little hearts and paw prints. And I'm going to just keep shifting that until I've stamped that all the way around. Then I'll open up the card and reposition it down in the corner so that I can stamp on the inside. I'm using the sentiment that says oodles and poodles of love as well as the paper airplane and another one of the little dogs. And I stamp that down twice to really get a bold impression so it stands out against that dark cardstock. I've trimmed down a piece of red cardstock with the Mama Elephant Femme Frames dies. This is the smaller of those two. And I'm going to glue that down on the card base so that you just have that nice stamping detail all around the outside edge. And the red panel has stitching detail so it really looks nice and finished. Then I'm going to grab my focal panel and add some foam tape to the back of that. I'll peel off those backer sheets and go ahead and position that in the center of the card. I used the Heffy Doodle Sending Die to trim that out of some red cardstock, so I'm going to carefully pop that out and add some liquid glue to the back of that. I'm using the Lawn Fawn Glue Tube just because it has a very thin nozzle, so it's easy to add little dots of glue, especially on the thinner parts of that die cut. Then I'm going to pick that up and center on the card right above the stamped sentiment. I'll add a dot of glue directly over the eye and then pick up the little dot and set that into the glue using my pick me up tool. And then I'm ready to adhere my other elements. I'm going to go ahead and open up the little flap of the mailbox since the die does cut that out for you. And then I'll be careful not to add any glue behind that as I position it at the top of the hill. Then I'll add the little dog so that she's kind of standing with her paws on top of the mailbox so that she's going to look like she's trying to mail a letter. I'm going to put the letter with the little heart on it right underneath her muzzle so it looks like she's clutching it in her mouth. And I glued the other two envelopes together so I had them just how I wanted them and tucked the corners into that opening. And that is going to complete our card for today. There's another peek at the inside. I really love the sentiment of this. I think it really speaks to the entire purpose of card making. I've always said it's about putting love on paper and giving it away. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have your support. Here's two extra videos I thought you might also be interested in, so hopefully those will tide you over until the next one. Until then, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.